Hi, this is Kyle Krafka. Have you ever been connected to a remote server and either got kicked off or you lost connection or uh, you know you just closed your terminal window or your laptop? That's never fun because the programs that you were running got terminated and uh, maybe you lost some work. Well today we're going to look at a software solution that helps us avoid that. It's called GNU Screen and uh, or just Screen for short. Um, and it will let you disconnect at any time and come back later to find the same programs that you were running before are right where you left them. So there are some alternatives to this. For example, uh, NoHup. It's not nearly as powerful as Screen, but it does let you run a program that will continue to go after you log out. Uh, there's also Tmux. Uh, that is a little more modern and has a lot of features. Uh, however, it's not found on every system, as frequently as Screen is, at least. So we are going to learn Screen. To start up Screen, you're just going to type Screen. You'll see that I get a new shell here, and I can run programs just as I would. Notice there is a status bar at the bottom. We'll talk about that in a bit. But I can, uh, you know, create a new document. And now if I get disconnected, I can just uh, reconnect later, just as I would before. And you'll see once you get reconnected, you'll get a new shell. But how do I reconnect to my screen? I'm just going to type screen-r. And you'll see that'll put me right back where I left off. Pretty handy, huh? Now there is a nicer way to detach from your screen rather than just closing your terminal window. So to do that, you can type Go back to your, your shell and type screen-d, but still I had to close my program to do that, so there's actually a keyboard shortcut. Um, you can type control a and D, so control a and then the D key, and that'll detach you from the screen session that you're running. It's still, your program's still running in the background, and I can still do screen-r to reconnect, uh, but that is one way to detach. So uh, there is Another thing I want to show you, there are more flags that you can add to the screen command that are worth looking up by typing man screen and you can scroll through these and look at your command line options here. One thing that I use pretty commonly, instead of just R, sometimes I'll do A, A, lowercase A and an uppercase A. That will resize, uh, it'll redraw the windows if I happen to have a different uh, terminal size when I reconnect. And the D flag is also super handy if you're connected somewhere else. So maybe you left screen running elsewhere uh, and you want to disconnect from there and reconnect here. So that will let you do that. Uh, that's pretty safe to use most of the time uh, instead of just dash R. Now uh, you can also run screen dash list and that will list the current screen sessions you have running. You'll see there's my screen session. If you actually want to end your screen session, let me go ahead and reattach here. I'm just going to go ahead and close all these programs nicely. And then you can exit your shell just as you normally would. So I can type exit or log off. I push control D for end of file. That's usually how I disconnect. And you'll see it notifies you screen is terminating. Now it is worth noting that if your server gets rebooted, then all the programs that you had running are going to get terminated anyway, but that shouldn't be a big surprise. Uh, something else I do want to mention that uh, the status bar that you saw at the bottom does not come by default. That is there because I configured my .screenrc file. And .screenrc is a plain text file that should go in your home directory and you can find a bunch of status bars by just googling for screen status bar. It's certainly not required, but I definitely find it handy. You'll see on mine I have uh, the name of the current window, which we'll look at in just a second. Uh, it also has my uh, host name. It has the current date and time. Now, let's look at a few different keyboard shortcuts that we can use while we're in screen. This is where things get really handy. You already know enough to make really good use of screen but you can also do some other really cool things with these keyboard shortcuts. Every screen shortcut starts with control A and that's true for Mac and Windows, it's the actual control key. You'll type control A, nothing will happen, but after you type control A then there's any number of uh, keys you can type to do any other number of commands. 
So the first one we'll look at is the create new window command. So I'm going to type control A and then the C key. And you see right there, it added another tab to my, to my window list here at the bottom of the status bar. So I can run a different program here. And if I want to switch back to that other window, I can do control A P for previous, or I can do control A N for next. And I can, you know, loop around and scroll through all my windows with control A P, control A N. There's also another handy one, control A, control A. Notice I had a control on that second A. Uh, so control A, control A will let you flip flop between two different windows. And it's really easy to hit. Uh, let me create a few more windows here. I'll run another program. So let's say uh, here I am in uh, window number four. Say I wanted to go back to window number one. I can type control A then number one and I jump to window number one. Now control A, control A swaps back and forth between those. Now you'll notice that these window names are not incredibly useful here at the bottom. It just had the name of the original process that was running, which was bash in all of these cases. So I can actually rename these windows by doing control A and then a capital A. So that's control A, then shift A. It says set title, uh, set windows title to um, say editor here. And then I'll type uh, control A, shift A man pages and so I can rename them like that and now I can use control a single quote to switch to the window and I can just start typing the name so editor let's say I want to switch back to editor I can just type ed and at any point just push enter as long as there's no ambiguity it'll switch back to my editor window and if you just want to see a list of all of them and this is particularly useful if you don't have a status bar you can do control a and then the double quote. All right, now one final word of warning. When you have screen open, you don't have regular terminal scroll back. That means when you scroll up in your terminal, you're not going to see what you expect. So uh, to scroll back in a screen session, you actually need to do a special screen command. Uh, you want to type control A and then the left square bracket. That'll put you in what they call copy mode. And then you can scroll back within that screen window. And another shortcut for that is control A and escape. As the name denotes, you can copy and paste things from within the screen, but we're not going to look at that in this video. To get out of copy mode, you can just push escape uh, a couple times it looks like and you're back where you left off. Uh, one other note here, uh, you can close these windows by just typing exit, you know, just as you would uh, any other shell. Uh, you can close them one at a time. It does keep the numbering set, so that's sort of nice. Um, so that's a basic tutorial of screen. I hope that this has been pretty useful. I certainly find it very useful. I use it on a regular basis. Uh, especially when you're working on a remote server. And if you're doing a lot of things at once, it can be nice to run them in their own little windows. So that's it, and have a great day.